Morning! Welcome to Friday, uh, Tea Time Togetherness. I plan on popping on here Fridays for sure, uh, and my goal is to be popping on a little bit more for you guys, because there is a lot of stuff that I would love to share with you. A lot of information being downloaded and channeled right now, um, as well as a lot that my uh, present physical realm physical manifestation dives into around the plants, around, funnily enough, around the astral realms and the spiritual realms as well, because we're all interrelated, right? We are just physical beings that are housing our spiritual beings. And so we are part and parcel. It's like saying our brain is separate from our body when we're saying, yeah, I have a physical condition. Our brain is part of our physical condition. It just allows for a different level of cognizance, but it is still one and the same, same spirit, physical. Yeah, so welcome, Tea Time Togetherness. Who am I and what am I doing? First, very important, what is in my cup? In my cup today, we have Skullcap, which, uh, Scutellaria lateral flora, which helps to bring us down in the sense of anxiety, and it helps with the smooth muscles, but it helps to just release and calm and soften the edges, but not to the point necessarily of sleep, it just helps tone the nervous system to be able to be capable of handling things. Uh, we also have uh, some chamomile, which is also for the nervous system. It can be a little more sleep-inducing for some. It's really great. Both of these are great for kids and also for the super sensitive. So if you don't need a lot of something, these guys are great. Um, chamomile is also good for uh, smother mother is what I've noticed is people that have an issue with mothers that were very, very smothering, they can have issues with chamomile, but eventually that is the formulation that is the plant spirit medicine that they need the most um and then what is else is in here rose rose for the heart i put rose in very many of my nervous system uh concoctions um but it has been a week so um yeah there has been there was some very candid for a moment this week has been very intense um, I am blessed to be here. I am blessed for the abundance in my life. And I am blessed um, that my father uh, got to the hospital in time. So it was a very intense day, a day, week from about Tuesday. Everything is good now. Everything is uh, moving forward. Uh, he should be out of the hospital shortly. And uh, very, very blessed for the support uh, he has received. And also thank you for everybody who offered up. I put out a call for support, um, for energy, for healing, for whatever anybody could have to send towards him, the collective consciousness, and the outpour, I was, yeah, it brought me to tears multiple times, um, so thank you, so blessed. So who am I, who am I, what, who am I doing, who am I, and what am I doing here? <laughs> um... My name is Hilary Raven Porter. I am an integrative healer and ascension guide and mentor. I work within the realms of spirit. Um, I work within the realms of the divine to connect you into that space, that core of you that you are wanting expressed, that you know is there, that intuition that is within you to move you up and forward into that aligned space where you shine so brilliantly. No expectations, no assumptions, just that core you that you can feel. I always picture it as like an egg that you're curled up in and you're just like, you might peek your head out, you know, a little cheap, cheap, cheap. And you like peek your head out and then you're like, nope, going back in. But to sprout and grow and be abundantly you, abundantly you, with compassion and grace and love, expressed and shining and... I know sometimes it can feel kind of, what's that word? You're just like, oh, everybody says that, but it's true. When you become that expression of you and you're able to follow in these pathways, you draw more of that to you, which then just you grow stronger and more potent as you, which then allows others around you. It's like the vibration shifts and your vibration that affects other people's. And they're like, oh, wait, I do have the right to express as I am and not be ashamed of those parts of me that I've been told I need to be ashamed about. So that's what I do. And I draw upon many different wisdoms within my toolkit from channel guidance to energy work to esoteric acupuncture, plant spirit medicine. Tamiana crystal healing is the one that right now is getting a whole reformulation on my end. Um, adding things. So as I've been going through the stuff that's been happening, 
hey, I'm sipping on my tea. What's in your cup? I would love to, I love to hear what people are drawn to. And if you have a consistent, this has been in my cup now for a few days because it's a go-to for me. Oh, mm. and honey, lots and lots of honey. I'm a bit of a fan of honey. So over the last little while, the channeling has been intense. Stuff has been pouring through and flowing through. And so you may know that uh, you may have seen some of my other videos. Uh, I'm currently working on a new offering that is a binding of a couple of interweaving of a couple of modalities that I have uh, within my arsenal that I, it has been blowing our minds. And so it was time for my second Tamiana treatment session to be given to me. And by about the third plane, so our solar plexus, um, I left. And there was actually the visual of me joining the Pleiadian guide of Derek's Pleiadian guide. And we went into this vortex. And what was interesting is that that's when I tuned out. That's when I was like, oh, I'm in my monkey mind. I keep thinking of things, blah, blah, blah. And then the next thing I know, I was being told, okay, we are done our session now. I was, I came back and I was, I was completely shifted. I'd actually gone through a transformation, a shape shifting that night. I actually felt my joints. I pictured it like I kept on bringing it back to a werewolf, which was interesting because it wasn't malevolent or it didn't have that dark energy, but it was that shape shifting. I actually felt my bones cracking and realigning and it was like I was completely broken down and then I was being reconfigured and put back together. Lego style, actually, very much so. You're like, oh no, and you just take everything apart, but you put it back together. So it's the same pieces. They're just rejigged into a new configuration. What's very interesting about that is, so then water is my, my clearing. So right after the session, I was very much in, another, in an altered space. And so I hopped into the bathtub, the water, the soothing, and then the stuff just started being channeled through me. And I wanted to share that with you today. So this is clearing versus releasing. Because we're always talking. And I was like, yeah, we cleared a whole bunch of stuff. And this got cleared. And that was cleared out of my body. And this was cleared. And that is not the term we need to be using. The term that is more applicable is releasing. So what's the difference? Clearing versus releasing. What is the difference there? So, clearing. So this was a whole bunch of information coming from the Pleiadians. Coming down, Pleiadians. Very much attuned to the Pleiadians. Um, so clearing means you get rid of everything. You no longer have the lessons you learned from that thing that happened, that situation, that experience, that trauma. You no longer have any of the lessons that came along with that. When you clear it, it is blank slate, wiping it out. So basically, if you look at yourself walking down a path, right? Let's see if I, I drew a little picture, sort of a little picture. Let's see if you can see it. This is my, this has been my book of Tamiana and everything that's been being channeled down from, to me. So can you see here? So it'd be like, you're walking down the path. Let's say this is where the situation happens, the trauma happens, and then all of a sudden you go this way. And you're like, okay. But if you clear all of this information you got here, all of these lessons, all of these learnings become deleted. 100%. But if you release, you will still hold. So if you clear, and then all of a sudden you're starting kind of back from zero, and that almost leaves a space for those situations to keep coming up. So you know when you have patterns that are happening, 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 you're like, I thought I cleared this. Well, you did clear it. It disappeared. But then you had to learn the lessons again. So to learn the lessons again, you have to go through it again. So with releasing, releasing is all about releasing your attachment. Releasing your attachment. So one of the things that they said, so, oh, where was it? So clearing doesn't even occur within the Palladian language. There is no equivalent to clearing because all lessons are important. All lessons are needed. All lessons must be retained. But attachments do not serve. So these lessons are important. So it doesn't mean when you release something, it doesn't mean that the, let's say, we're going to go to trauma. There's a lot of trauma on whatever way, shape, or form that trauma looks like for you or has occurred in your life and has affected you. But when we hold on, there's lessons that come of these things. They may not, we may not be able to see them in the moment. We may not be able to see them after for a while because we're lingering and we're becoming attached to that thing. Why me? Why did that occur to me? 
What did I do? Why do these things keep happening to me? That's an attachment to what happened. And I'm not, this is by no way, shape, or form me saying that what happened to you is not serious or important or diminished in any way, but it's our attachment to it that holds us in that space. So by releasing that attachment, we still retain the lessons that we have learned, but we are not attached to the why me, why, why. We're not attached to the why. That's what it is. We're not attached to the why. But clearing deletes it all. So any of the lessons you learned during that period of time, whether it be to be more compassionate to people, to like my dad, to speaking up and not holding pride when we are in pain and we need help. We learned, but if we cleared that, the next time we are in pain and we need help, we still won't speak up because we cleared it. We did not retain the lesson. Let me know if you have any questions about this. I would love to hear your thoughts on this knowledge that the Pleiadians have have given in regards to clearing versus releasing. It's so easy to get into that. No, I cleared it. I honestly am going through this right now as we are moving through this Tamiana transformation, as we are creating, as I am tweaking and making it so that this is the clearest, most potent transformation for you at that level where you are at, because it shifts, it shifts your subtle energies. But that is powerful. And what we're finding that's so amazing about this whole transformation, we have another person who is also moving through this right now, who is on a different vibratory level. And what's so great about this is it works on all the levels. Like, hey, look, I slept for 12 hours and I'm able to start processing and shifting and clearing. Clearing, see? change of our words because words are power and the words we choose to tell ourselves and to use even if we're like oh but that's not what I meant but it's what you said and so we still align with that word that power that comes out of us clearing releasing I mean I just got this knowledge a couple of days ago so it's going to take me a while as well but if you ever hear me saying this please be like hey Hillary remember because I this is powerful stuff but we there is so for the light worker, for the person that is in these other realms already, this transformation is like, let's see, astral travel. Like I said, my body's realigned. I'm still working on my left hip. My left hip the next morning after this session was completely unaligned. We had to do some more Reiki on it. And bless Derek. He went in and gave a little massage and all these other things for me to help it out. And then all of a sudden my foot and everything is still realigning on that one side. So for the light worker, this stuff can be super, it takes you into these depths, into these heights, into these realms. Whereas on the lower, le- not the lower level, the denser levels or the different levels of spirituality or non-spirituality, it allows you these manifestations within your body and within this physical realm to heal and to raise your vibration up, but to a level that is comfortable for you while you are releasing and shifting those cells within you. So very blessed and so very powerful. Yeah. I feel that is all I have to say about clearing and releasing. Let me just take a look if there's anything else they had said to me. No. So, right. That is actually one more thing. So, there is no... So, we might think, well, is there a space actually for clearing? Is there a time when we actually want to clear completely something? And yes, there is. If there is something that is malevolent, a malevolent force that is um, influencing you, that is putting things within your body, within your spiritual realms, within your energetics, that are not a lesson. It's just them tweaking your system and utilizing you for their malevolent forces, their services. Then yes, clearing that completely. But... That is so far and few between, truly, honestly, so far and few between, that clearing is very rarely needed versus releasing. 
still may need to be able to, still may need to, be able to release things. Because there are entities that are not necessarily malevolent. They still have a spark of the other, of the finer vibrations, of the light, of the spirit, however you want to look at it, the two sides. Because we need light and dark, right? Shadow and light, we need both. And there are entities, and they may feel malevolent, but really they're just lost as well, but they still have a spark of the other. So what we're talking about malevolent forces is those entities that have the pure darkness, that have the pure malevolence. And those are so far and few between within this realm. So clearing versus releasing. 99.9% .9 of the time, releasing versus clearing. Okay. That is all for me today. A quick one today. I would love to hear your take on this. And if you have any questions or you'd like to know how we may work together, please send me a message. Uh, I have always enjoy hearing and uh, seeing how we can move forward together. Okay, so much love and stardust. Have yourself an excellent Friday. The birds are out here and it's starting to feel like spring. So good. Okay, bye for now.